Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading for December. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. <clears throat> Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I'm primarily a love reader. That's what I'm going to focus on. If anything else pops up, I will address it, of course. Um, I'm going to be freestyling your tarot spread today, starting off with some oracle cards. Towards the end of the reading, I will roll some dice to get initials and sun signs and angel numbers for you. So make sure you stick around for that. Alrighty. We have reindeer medicine. Someone before you got this. I cannot for the life of me remember who, but it says journey into the depths of your soul an awakening of sights revealed it is time for no time at all for all is presently here this is about being in the now this is about manifestation to a very large extent and this is also about tapping into inner wisdom this is the high priestess for me combined with the magician and then we have star beautiful Follow the stars for they know best, not too light, not too dark, a shimmer of what is coming next. This is a sense of direction, a sense of purpose. This could also talk about your north node and the star, regardless of if it's showing up in an oracle card or a tarot card, suggests that a tower may have happened. The star is always, uh, it always follows the tower in the tarot and tower moments are difficult. They are shakeups of our foundations and we've all been through them thanks to Scorpio season and the eclipses that we just went through. So this is about finding yourself again. This is about trusting in your inner power again, uh, trusting your intuition and trusting all the gifts that you have to create the life of your dreams. Mm, nine of Wands, but like most signs, you're tired. You're tired of doing too much. You're tired of persevering. Um, it's almost like um, I was speaking to my best friend yesterday and, and she she asked me <clears throat> there was just one line does it ever end <laughs> I said I don't think it does because if it ended if the problems ended we'd become complacent and then there would be no growth that is what life is all about it's about challenges and obstacles so that we're not just sitting pretty in a comfortable chair and ignoring um, our development, our spiritual development, our physical development even, right? You need that burn in the gym to build muscle. Similarly, you need to get burned in life to build that spiritual, mental and emotional muscle. And then we have the Knight of Wands and that is what brings you that bounce in your step. It brings you that vitality and that joy. Now, the Knight of uh, Wands can also be someone external. This could be someone coming in towards you to help light the way, to help guide you. Um, it could also be someone who can help give you that sense of purpose and direction. Sometimes we can become very comfortable in our discomfort. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. I have been suffering from chronic pain for the last over a year, right? And it can be very comfortable for me to use my pain as an excuse to sit at home and do nothing. But sometimes, my friends, can be those night nights of wands right who come in and yank me out of my comfort zone and force me to go out whether i want to or not there has to be a stirring of the pot you cannot sit and mull over whatever it is that you have been going through we have the queen of cups beautiful this is unconditional love for self and others this is trusting your intuition um, regardless of gender, the Queen of Cups can be someone very optimistic. It can be someone with a very high EQ. I don't know if this is you or this is somebody else. We will see when we get more cards out. We have Justice. You see how he's received coal in his gift, in his stocking, instead of a present. Something has been unjust and unfair. The perseverance that you have been at for so long, I feel like you've been at it alone. You haven't been getting any help. The scales have not been balanced and that's the reason you're burnt out. The Ten of Wands follows the Nine of Wands, right? So there is help coming in from outside. But I don't know if this is a friend group or this is a, a romantic partner or a spouse or a significant other. I'm not certain, but we will see. 
We have the Ten of Swords. Yikes. Something is dead done over with. And I feel like some of you are even saying, I don't need anybody to come and save me. I can do it myself. Sure, we all have the ability to do that. Um, but I mean, sometimes we just need a little bit of help, right? He's doing everything he can to make the people around him happy by buying them presents. But look at that expression on his face. He's not particularly enjoying himself. And it can be very easy for a Virgo to go through routine, go through their chores, go through their to-do list, whether it's bringing them joy or not, right? Sometimes we need to ask ourselves, what is bringing us joy? Is cleaning that cupboard going to bring us joy right now? If not, put it off, right? Do something that's going to fill you up. That is what the Queen of Cups is famous for. The Queen of Cups, regardless of gender, fills her own cup. What is filling your cup? Who is filling your cup? The Ten of Swords is, again, the card of a burnout. And Taurus had a very similar energy. So if you have heavy Taurus placements, I would go watch that reading. Uh, there's a reason we have reindeer medicine and the star. There is healing that is needed here. The Ten of Swords is a computer being given too many commands. It's going to shut down, right? And if you don't have help right now to do life, sit put. It's all right for you to stop moving for just a little while. But if I have to look at the typical meaning of these cards, considering I'm a love reader, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords could just mean somebody who has been very in and out of your life. Someone who's been very wishy-washy and has left you picking up the pieces. And it's like that was the final straw. We have the King of Wands. That is interesting. The King of Wands and the Queen of Cups can make a beautiful bear. They're both very passionate. They're both highly intuitive. Um, it's interesting how the Knight of Wands is growing up into the King of Wands, right? This is someone who is getting a little more mature, who is not showing up with a childish energy or, you know, an immature energy. Hmm. Very disjointed reading. I will get bridging cards. Let's see. We have another person in your reading. We have the Knight of Swords could be dealing with multiple people which is why I feel like your energy is so all over the place why you're not being able to focus why we have the star you're not being able to find that sense of direction you're not being able to find that north star because there are too many energies that are muddling yours maybe too many people giving advice maybe the only advice you need to listen to is yours because it's all within you right three of wands at the bottom of the deck the nine of pentacles that is the card of being fulfilled within yourself of not needing a knight in shining armor to come save you is this self-inflicted i mean i don't know virgo i feel like you're telling me you're telling yourself that i can do this all alone i can do this by myself i don't need anybody but I'm not seeing too many cards of initiation here. I'm not saying you need someone to complete you, right? But it's always nice to have a companion who can complement your energy and help pick up the pieces. I feel like you're not even allowing that help to come in. Maybe because it hasn't in the past and you're just expecting it to not ever. Another person, the Page of Swords. I feel with the Two of Swords right here, you're getting in the way of your own manifestations. I think that's what's happening. I feel like there is somebody around you who may have realized the error of their ways. Somebody who wants to reverse this justice, who wants to balance out the scales, even out the scales, who wants to come and help again pick up those pieces and they're keeping an eye on you but i feel like you're not even looking at it because you've been so disappointed in the past it's like there's no sense of trust now that rock bottom that you hit with the ten of swords there's no sense of trust anymore oh that was crazy there are a lot of people in your reading my goodness you see 
the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles are you trusting the wrong people virgo is that what's happening here i feel like you've been trusting the wrong people there are too many people in this reading i'm i'm having trouble studying this energy because there's so many people here and which is why now we have the 10 of swords i feel like you need to quiet yourself just a little bit virgo i feel like there are too many people influencing you too many people influencing your decisions and that trained your medicine that medicine within you and your north star your intuition they're being stifled it's like you're on on this road right you're riding the chariot and you should be the only one in control of both the horses but there are like five backseat drivers no go here no go there no do this no do that no take a left no take a right you know and it's like your own intuition your own inner knowing is is being stifled that's what i'm feeling here one person though is standing out one person who actually has your good interest at heart your best interest at heart someone who wants to help you but i feel like even their voice is being drowned out because of all the other people that you're listening to the seven of pentacles someone that you have previously invested in someone who has grown up a little bit and is wise enough now to assist you someone who's done the work but you're holding on to pain this is one of the most directionless readings i've ever done you see how you're upset about something that's broken but there's a very happy cat and two cups full of love and a rainbow which suggests that you may have lost love but you haven't lost the capacity to love so you can always recreate that for yourself but again there are too many cooks in the kitchen how are you going to get that wisdom out of yourself and even follow it you see it's like this is the ace of cups right and the ace of cups very often is known as um a cup of love for self this could be hot cocoa it could be mulled wine whatever it could be something that's going to warm you up or something that will give you joy but you're so overworked and overwhelmed you're not even looking at it and you're on the phone who are you talking to who's whispering nothings in your ear who's whispering stuff in your ear that's not going to serve you the list make a list virgo literally make a list of all the people that you are in touch with are they naughty are they nice this is judgment right i feel like everyone is in black or um white there's a lot of gray in all of us right we're not made of just uh, shadow or just light there's a beautiful mixture in everybody but there's always a leaning towards one or the other there could be some people out here who could be very selfish who are not leading you in the right direction make a list i feel like that's going to help you more than anything else it's going to help you understand who to hold back from and who to give to the wheel of fortune and in that list the first name that should be on it is the universe and it's always nice no matter what it does no matter how much pain it puts you through it is always nice the universe has made you strong enough with the nine of pentacles to um trust that wisdom inside you trust that knowledge and ancestral wisdom or otherwise within you there is a change that is coming in but if you don't quiet the noise the universe is not going to be able to get to work it's like I don't know why I keep getting the chariot again and again even though I don't have it on the table the chariot in the original rider way it has a canopy of stars over the rider and that canopy of stars is your intuition that is your north star right the universe is going to listen to that frequency it's going to listen to your subconscious mind and your vibration instead of the chatter instead of the backseat drivers who are trying to control that chariot 
give the universe a little bit of permission. The Five of Cups. It's like you want to be in control because you don't want to feel pain again. But the funny part is that you're not the one who's in control. Other people are. That's what's happening here. I feel like you're giving other people permission to control your life. And I don't want that for you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten. <laughs> you see that. The Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card of generational wealth, a legacy of love, a happy home, happy family. Right? All well and good. But then we have the Ten of Wands. You don't even have the strength to light those candles. Because there's too much chatter. There's too much chatter here. I don't like it. <clears throat> there is one individual who is trying to mend their ways, right? There is somebody who may not have shown up the way they should have shown up. But I feel like that's completely separate to the whole theme of this reading. This wasn't really a love reading. This was more about your environment, more about the people that you're connected with. You need to start trusting yourself a little more, Virgo, instead of trusting the people around you. All the answers lie within. Of late, your readings have been very disjointed and very vague. So I can tell that you're all going through something. You're all going through something particularly confusing and painful. And especially now with your ruler, Mercury, ready to go retrograde very soon. It's already in its shadow period. Um, all of that confusion is just going to get a little stronger. But with Neptune going direct on the 6th of December, the rose-colored glasses, the tint is going to get just a little bit lighter. We can start trusting our intuitions again, especially you. All right. We have Taurus. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You could have Taurus heavily in your chart. And Taurus had a very similar energy to yours. We have the number 12. If you've been seeing 12 or 12, 12 a lot, this could talk about aligning with your intuition, literally. The number one is intuition. Number two is alignment, right? This is becoming one with yourself instead of becoming one with others before you connect with your inner, inner child and your higher self. And then we have Mars. Mars is not doing too much in the sky right now, thankfully, but Mars is Yang energy. This is Aries and Scorpio energy. This is about doing. But it almost came out in reverse, <laughs> the dice. There has to be more of a yin aspect in your life right now of receiving, of quietening your mind and receiving the gifts that the universe wants to offer you. And control your temper. That is very important right now. It can get really frustrating uh, going through so much and not being able to <clears throat> trust the people around you. So control your temper <clears throat> and pick your battles. We have the letters K, J, E, C, U, P, and R. These could be your initials. They could be the initials of the person you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. Just a special mention for those of you who've seen your initials here today. All right, Virgo, that was it. I really hope this helped. This was a very weird reading, but I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.